This is Math 88. We are doing the midterm practice. And I'm just going to do 16, 17, and 18 all in, in one video here. So for 16, uh, D equals R times T, solve for T. So what I want to do is get T all alone. And I notice that R is multiplied by T. So I can undo that multiplication by dividing by R. So D divided by R, that's what T is. So that's solve for T. All right, the next one, it says solve for B. I want to get B all alone. So I notice that it's 3 times B and then plus C to get A. So I'm going to undo those in reverse. So I'm going to undo the plus C by subtracting C from both sides. So A minus C is equal to 3B. And then it's 3 times B. So I'm going to divide by 3. There's my answer right there. So A minus C divided by 3. Last one, solve for Y. I want to get Y all alone. So it's a negative y. That's kind of interesting to me. There's two routes I could go here. And I'll do kind of like the just, I'll do the full speed ahead one first, and then I'll do the one that um, is maybe just a little more clever second. Uh, so if I want to get y alone, I could just subtract 7x from both sides. And notice I get negative y equals negative 7x plus 2. And then since that's a negative y, I could divide both sides by negative 1 which means that um, y equals, both of these are divided by that negative 1. So it would flip the sign of them, 7x minus 2. You know, another way I could do this um, is if I didn't want to have to deal with a negative y later, I might add y to both sides first. So then I get 7x equals y plus 2. And then to get y alone, I could just subtract 2 from both sides, minus 2, minus 2. So 7x minus 2 y equals that. Both are good routes to go. They'll both get you there. This one, little clever first step, but it saves you from having to divide by that negative later.